It's an honor and a privilege for me to be here again. My name is Pastor David Henderson. I pastor at the Grace United Methodist Church. Uh, I'm also a chaplain for the Pennsylvania State Police out of the Indiana Barracks. And, and so when uh, Anthony asked me to come and share just a prayer and a couple words uh, about our first responders and about our military personnel, uh, I am honored to do so. I've not always been a pastor. Uh, I'm a, a career change guard, called me into the ministry after uh, a decade of law enforcement. So I worked as a police officer. Uh, I'm familiar with that job and, and that particular calling. Uh, I'm also a veteran uh, of our country, served four years in uh, the United States Army, and I have a son who's serving right now as well. And so I come with, with different feelings and with different perspectives, uh, but perspectives I think all of us can share together. We talk a lot about heroes. You hear a lot of things about heroes uh, nowadays and, and a lot of times what people are thinking about or what they're pointing to are, are uh, television people or movie stars or, or even dare I say athletes you know we hold them up as heroes but, uh, but I'm just here to tell you today uh, the definition of a hero uh, is someone who every day uh, goes into uh, whatever situation God calls them into uh, oftentimes times of danger uh, places that, that most of us would not go uh, to help us, to serve us, to protect us, and to help us uh, have this wonderful community that we have here in Indiana uh, is blessed by such people as our firefighters and our police officers and our service members. And so uh, I just want to offer a prayer for them. I want to offer a prayer for their families as well. The blessing that they are to us here in this community, uh, that they would know that we support them, that they would know that we love them, that we cherish them, and we value them and their families as well. Would you bow your heads with me as I offer a prayer? Gracious and loving God, we come before you this afternoon with a humble heart asking that you would pour out a special blessing on the men and women of law enforcement, fire departments, first responders, and military here in our community. Uh, the uncertainty of their role leaves them never knowing, Lord, when and where they will be called into harm's way. But God, we ask that when those times do come and come they will, that you would strengthen and protect them as they selflessly seek to protect us. May we, a grateful public, never forget that the safety and freedom we enjoy comes with a great cost, a cost paid by our first responders, military personnel, and their families. God, we know that you hold a special place in heaven for these public servants who love you and stand boldly with honor, courage, and commitment in the face of evil. And we ask, Lord, that you would endow them with your strength and spirit so they may continue to fight the longest running war known to humankind, the war of good versus evil. When they face danger, Lord, be their fortress, when they face the impossible and feel inadequate, remind them that nothing is too difficult for the creator of heaven and earth, and that they can do all things through Christ who gives them strength. When they're tired and anxious, give them rest and bestow upon them your peace, a peace that passes all understanding. When they feel they can't take another step and they can't face another shift or answer another call, Lord, I pray that you would empower them with your strength and with your stamina, and whenever they feel weighed down with their own personal trials, God, may your grace prove sufficient. We pray that you'd bring these officers and first responders and military personnel through each and every shift, to each and every trial, each and every uh, difficulty they may ever face. May you richly bless them and their families, and may they always know that they are supported and loved by a grateful community. And we ask all these things in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen.